On this episode, we're talking to Annie and Julia with Shop South City. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. I'm really excited about today's episode because I've been seeing this company in my Facebook news feed for maybe the last six or seven months or so. So I have Annie, you know, I'm going to butcher your last name. Castellano. Castellano and her daughter, Julia. And they are the brains behind the operation of the online store Shop South City. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just have you guys start off with telling us a little bit about yourselves and how it evolved to where you decided to start selling apparel, South City apparel and accessories online. So I had a milestone birthday last year okay. and I just decided to uh, treat myself to a, a screen printing. I've always been interested in screen printing, the okay. art and trade of it. And so I invested in, and it wasn't that much of an investment, but I bought a uh, screen printing press okay. and taught myself, you know, how to make the screens and go through all that process. And really with the intention of just making t-shirts and things that I wanted to wear for my kids to wear. And, um, one of the original designs was this South City. Okay. And so I made a bunch of shirts for myself and my, my sister and their family, and they, they live in South City too. Okay. And so they started wearing them around town and people noticed and asked where they could get them and it kind of just went from there. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool. You got some really cool stuff. I'll have you talk about some of the types of things that you, type of clothing and apparel that you sell specifically and we can even show some. Sure, as okay. Well. So I guess we'll just start out. You, these coffee cups I thought were really cool. Yeah. So um, I hope it shows well on the camera, but this is one thing that caught my eye online. How did you come up with, did, it, did you come up with the design or did you, yeah, how did, it's a unique design. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that, I guess? So I, that's an enamel mug. So okay. it's, there are a lot of, I'm, I'm into the outdoors and I like camping and I've always loved all of the accessories and gear that go along with camping right. and so when I found a company um, online and there's another business in South City Pint Size Bakery that has similar mugs yes. and I kind of looked into where they got theirs made and mm -hmm. it, so I went through the same company they're based in Poland and they have a pretty easy process for um, designing your mug to fit their their mold so we we went through those guys and got our first run of the enamel mugs and they've been selling great. I love them. That's great. And I love Pink Pine Size Bakery yeah. as well. My wife does too. We bought our first birthday cake there for my daughter's first birthday and I'm in there every now and then and I do want to get, I did mention a show to her. She was open to it, but she was overwhelmed with wedding cakes yeah, I'm that sure. particular day. I'm so, sure very busy. So, so I'll get them at some point. You also have some really cool, um, the, the hats I really like. You got some yeah. really cool hats and the theme is consistent. Mm hmm. It's very nice, but simple. Simple, yeah. Everything's I, very nice, but simple. It's just a typeface so, that I like. I think yeah. it's, it's simple without being boring. And so yeah. um, I made the first screens that way and have since evolved from screen printing to also, like we said, the enamel mugs. And then I have some embroidered items too. So all the screen printing, Julia and I do ourselves oh. at, at home in our basement. And The embroidery? Uh, no, just the screen the, the printing. Screen printing. Now, the okay. embroidery, we have a okay. partner, a local partner. Um, they're great. They've been great to work with. I'll, I'll show one of the embroideries. Um, these are really cool. The, uh, would you call this a pullover? Quarter zip. Yeah. Quarter zip. That's okay. the unisex um, quarter zip. Really cool. It's a little bit heavier, mid-weight type of, maybe a little heavier weight um, mm -hmm. type of jacket. Works perfect for this type of weather. Yeah, right. We're having today. Um, really cool. And again, simple, but very nice. Like Thank you. That's just consistent with your design. We'll also show off Try not to make this episode an infomercial. Yeah, right. But I mean, the idea is just to show off the cool stuff. I thought it was, um, this is what caught my eye. So this is what I want to show off. So um, really cool shirts. This is this type of screen printing you're doing. Yep, so that we did, so. That we do that by hand. Everything's screen tr printed by hand in our okay. basement. So it's not done by machine. It's a manual press. Um, so this, they're all a little bit different. There's not a, it, there are some imperfections that are kind of just part of the process. And I think that's okay. part of what makes it cool. 
I agree. It's in the, this is my favorite. I'm gonna actually buy this one. Um, okay. Uh, really cool. That's the, so the, the gray, classic gray, the gray with one. black. <laughs> so, um, but cool. Well, now if people want to order, what's the process? I mean, you're not a bricks and mortar. You're online. Yeah. I saw that you have two options. I guess you have delivery, and you could also meet the people. Yeah. To pick up. I guess I'll just let you talk about that a little. Sure. Bit. So shopsouthcity.com is one way that people can buy, mm -hmm. and we try to keep our inventory up to date. Julia is the general manager of the business, and she does a lot of the inventory management. <laughs> um, so, you know, we have most of our items there, but we usually have some stuff in addition to that that's not on the site. And then, so that's the, the, the website is one way. Another way... When the weather's nice, sometimes we do what we call pop-up shops, where we'll just bring I saw one some of inventory. Francis Park. Yep, over area. to Francis Park, Love and it's kind of like a lemonade good. stand for South City. Gear. Okay. And um, we usually kind of decide last minute, and we'll post on Facebook if we're going to do it, you okay. know, like a day or two in advance. Yeah. Um, and I think people like that because then they can see the stuff and try it on, and kind of just get it right then and there. Yeah. And then if there's cool. something that people want specifically or if they're if there's an item that's out of stock on the website happy to always um, have a conversation about it and try to accommodate as best we can to to get it in or have or make something special for pickup it takes Great. a couple weeks to do that right. so Julia this must you must have a lot of fun doing this as well um yeah I do most of the deliveries well when I can uh -huh. <laughs> on, on my bike so that's mm -hmm. fun to bike around the neighborhood and deliver the South City gear. That's great. Do you uh, do you help with the screen printing? Um, I'll do some of the curing occasionally. To, okay. Um, make sure the ink stays in the shirts or the clothing. Okay. Right. So this the process is you we have the screens made. So then I usually do the printing, and then we let them dry for a period of time, and then there's a curing. The last step in the process is curing, where you have to heat the ink to a certain you know, 320 degrees for a certain amount of time. So we did that the old fashioned way with an iron and an ironing board. Right. <laughs> so she's, she helps a lot with that. Well, it's cool. And it's a great, like, not only is it a fun hobby and a good way to make extra income, uh, it's great. What like great learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, fun that we Learning about together. business and entrepreneur, entrepreneurialism. We'll just yeah. call it that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll either edit or rehearse that next time. Okay. Um, but no, it's really cool. Well, I admire your business and what you're doing. How can people find your website and find you on social media? So uh, we are at www.shopsouthcity.com. Mm -hmm. And then on Facebook, we have, it's called Shop South City. So if you like the page, you'll automatically get all the posts about new items that we have in stock or if we're going to have a, um, a pop-up shop or anything new that's going on we did we've, we participate sometimes in um, little uh, events around the neighborhood like at St. Gabe's they've done the sip and shop so we were there um, so yeah stuff like that's a great way to just keep up with what we have going on those are really the cool. two primary ways cool well Annie and Julia thank you so much for coming on the show you have some really good stuff I hope uh uh, I hope the South City people uh, patronize your business and buy some more hats and stuff. It's really cool. So. Yeah. Oh, it was our pleasure. Thanks for so. supporting South City. And we like to say you don't have to live in, shop, in South City to love South City. No, so you we've, don't. And we've made deliveries. No. Actually, I've shipped to several other states and made deliveries to neighborhoods well outside of South City. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that really appreciate the, um, you know, just the the down-to-earth nature of the neighborhood. So. It's awesome. I, I've lived everywhere. I've lived in Jefferson County up until, that was just, you know, through elementary school. I've lived in St. Charles County for about seven years. I grew up in West County, and now I've lived in South City 10 years. And I was always uh, from the suburbs. And something just happens after three or four years to where you just fall in love with it. Yeah. You just get it yep. and you fall in love with it and it's a South City thing. Yeah, right. And uh, that's also the appeal behind your business. 
anyone in and a lot of people from South City get that yeah I think so too so, yeah there's definitely so, something that resonates with people for sure um, in a lot of the local businesses as well just good people yep good businesses for sure. so Great anyway language. I could I try and keep that episode semi under 10 minutes or so so I can okay. go on for 30 more minutes <laughs> but we'll we'll stop the episode and then talk about that so. all right that sounds <laughs> so, good thanks well, for having us on thank you and that concludes this episode of the Bob Wall Show thank you everyone for joining us if you like the episode like share comment it's always appreciated and goodbye for now see you all next week <laughs>